spring day again on me one of my favourite walks and you can see why surely nice quiet road very little comes along here it's just a few farmhouses dotted along there that way towards Dillon which is I've already said this of course I've covered this that many times but it's a steady walk it's about two two and a half mile maybe to Dillon walking this way over the Foxfield uh, railway line and you walk on about another maybe three quarter mile and then you're in Dillon village which I'm heading to a little bit later when I've had my little walk here but this is lovely we um, don't know what date it is but we're certainly now going into latish May 2022 This is what I love about this walk though. It's like the openness of it. And then you've got like the tree line lane here a bit further down. Um, and the calmness and the beauty of it, especially on a day like this. There's hardly any breeze. It is still a little bit cool, there's still a little bit of a nip in the air. I've got a light jacket on, but when the breeze stops and drops all together which it probably will be down here because there's some microclimates down here when you drop down the bank the sun will be quite well, it's hot the sun's hot anyway but when the wind's out out of the equation it's quite warm but yeah uh, and where am i well i'm just off as i said this that route is that road there takes me and after a couple of mile and a half, two mile down to Delon. And that road takes us to Salahead. Turn left and then carry on over that road there. <clears throat> oh and you can get Delon turning right here. Go left and then right. Oh no, wait a minute, yeah, you can. That's a road I'll go down to Dillon. Right there. You can also get to it if you do a left, carry on around the road, and then you come on to the A road. I don't know which A road it is, it's the one that goes from, runs right through from Salahed to um, Cheadle. Anyway, so here it is. Oh, Banks, I call this walk Banks Top. Banks Top Farm, because his little Bank Top Farm and bank, Banks Top Farm, which is just there on that side, if you can make it out. Zoom in. There is a farm there somewhere, behind those uh, trees. Yeah, anyway. Alright, I'll go a bit wide on this. I'll do a wide one anyway, landscape one. Right, back on landscape. That's better, isn't it? Let's do, let's do a wide shot. Many miles over that way to see that's more of a westerly direction and this here being an easterly direction now ask me which is north and which is south I would say that's north northerly I've got a compass on this phone but and that's southerly I'd say anyway tractor coming along take a couple of photos Okay, I've been a bit naughty here. I've not barred my way, but it was a little bit inviting actually. I was leaning on the gate just up here, 500 yards of that, that leads into this quite a wood, little wooded area. Somebody's land obviously because there's a gate on it. I have just been around that other side there, which again is about what? Well, or 500 yards that way and there are some 
there's a farm building lower down, 1,500 yards further down. I wonder whether it's their land. <coughs> what a shit. <laughs> well, my thoughts on it when I look at it, and I've seen it a few times, I've never come in, ventured into it, I've got to be honest. Um, what a place for build a little house, we even have a small holding. I suppose it would cost you a bother to clear all this out, making it a small holding, or just keep it as is. And it's wild and wonderful present state. But this is the gate here. It's just off that lane I've been walking past. I don't know what that farm is there. They've got goats in. I have videoed that in the past. And um, further up there, up the road, that's that Summer Hill. I think it's called Summer Hill. Uh, lodgings. Well, lodgings. Uh, holiday homes. But yeah, that's a gate that's just opened. I didn't even pull the latch. I was just leaning on it. Oh, I can see why it's just pushed open. It's the latch isn't actually in line with the with that there. There's a latch and there's a hook. Yeah, that's why it's pushed open on me. But anyway, curiosity got the better of me again. So I had a little walk around it. But listen, have a listen to that. Okay, there's a dog barking in the background, but... Oh, and that microclimate I was talking about earlier on, or microclimate, there's one here, and it's right inside there. And here, to some extent, the wind's dropped quite a bit, or the breeze, um, and it has gone a couple of degrees warmer when the sun's at you, or hitting you, like here standing directly in the sun now, which is up there. Hmm. So you've got an open field there. And I know this opens right up because I did video this. I videoed this area here so many times because I've walked it that many times. But this does open up here on the corner. And this is a road to that uh, that farm building I saw and I've just took a walk down the left hand side of this this wooded area I've just been on there <coughs> yeah okay I should have remembered actually that there's a road here because I have walked to this point here on quite a few occasions for take a few photographs I don't think I've ever videoed it I can't recall so this is my view at the moment The surroundings. I'll uh, I'll look up the name of this road because I keep on about Banks Tops, Banks Top Farm, and um, that road there that goes and leads on to Delorme. Um, again, so like I say, that's got to be a good couple of mile because once you get in that tree line there. It's quite a distance. I used to cycle this from home all the way around and then I used to veer off to the right when I got down to, um, or almost to, because it comes to a T-junction at the bottom. Go left for Dillon, for about three quarter of a mile into Dillon, or you turn right and it takes you back round to where uh, the route I used to take cycling.
I don't know why they're uploading this to YouTube anyway if you see it, I obviously have because I've done this before but sometimes, different year, different time of the year I think I've already covered early spring on it but it's such a beautiful, beautiful day all the buttercups in the field there, I love the colour uh, yeah, I can't yeah, go back to landscape, I can't resist it like I say, I've already buried it taking so many photos around here people think I'm there must be about four already on my channel, this area but hey oh, New Hill Farm, I thought it was called that but I wasn't 100% sure there we go and this is called the Ryland where they've got the uh, 50 metres Ryland Okay, well, does the Ryland own this here? And is this open to the public? Or is it just there the livestock? Does it keep for whatever reason? We'll go to see. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, we've got donkeys, sheep at the back. And we've also got a magpie and a blackbird and a crow should I say got a variation today oh and there's a the cattle in that next field there they were in this field last time I videoed you well, were they? no they weren't they were in that field something in that one was it? And these other, these locals and these farmers and plants and these are another one taking pictures and videoing Okay, I've took a few pictures now. I'll knock this off for now. Just doing a turn around, I was just going to try and video what they're doing there. Gathering the cut grass to making hay balls, I suggest. No, I turn now, doing its thing. Ace. Yeah, that is definitely the last photo and 